Okay, what we have here is we're going to make uh, a plan or an application map for nitrogen. I'm doing this all pretty much all the math in Excel because it's too complicated for me to do the formulas in FarmWorks. So we go down to soil samples here and we'll copy and then we'll find whatever year we're going to be doing corn in this situation. It's 2024 corn, all data. Well, here I already made one, so we'll just delete this one because I already made one. So here we are. Doesn't matter what the name is because it will be changing once we get our data in. So let's go to Excel, pasture and recommendations. Uh, I made sure that my ID We'll match the sample ID in the shape file that's currently in FarmWorks. And then I look at the stuff from Ward Data or Ward Laboratories, the PDF, and I'll pick which recommendation pounds of N I want, the 180 bushel, 200 bushel, 220 bushel in this situation. For each of these sample areas, I pick the 220 bushel yield goal. And so for sample ID 301, 220 bushel yield goal is 160 pounds of N is their recommendation. Um, I took a couple of 8 to 24 inch subsurface nitrogen tests and I came back with like a 24 and a 34 pounds of N deep down. So I just kind of averaged them and I'm saying field wide, it's about 28 pounds underneath the surface. So I'm able to, as you can see here, subtract 28 pounds from the 160 to give me the net nitrogen per ounce per acre that we're looking for. I hope I got this right, but if you want to put urea as well as 15% AMS, you need to multiply this number by 2.5576, and that will equal your pounds of urea and AMS together combined that you have to apply per acre. I save it as a CSV file. And then we're ready to go in here and import it. Read job data. We're doing the pasture here. So join file with an existing layer. This is why it doesn't matter what the name of the file over here is because it will change. So let's go to Schley Real Estate. Pasture 2024. Here it is. That's what we're going to join this data with. Latitude, longitude. Uh, maybe I'll make something at some point, but it's pretty easy right now because the sample ID is what the uh, shape file is. And the soil sample is this weird thing that has an ID on it. I don't know why it's like that. I only need the ID number. I don't need the recommendation of subsurface pounds net. Don't need that. All I need is the actual urea AMS that needs to apply the number of pounds per acre. Put that on there. Let's change this to something better. Let's do pasture urea AMS. And then I don't know why, I guess I just do this sometimes. The multiplication factor that I have been using. Okay, here we are. So now got to delete it and reload it to get it on there. So there we got the sample IDs, but we also have the rates. Um, that's about the right radius. Let's make a grid. I don't know what rates we'll put in here. Yeah. Looks like we need to go higher. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, not a very pretty map, but it is a map. I can mess with that legend later. Save it back up. Um... Create a simple application. Here we go. This is where I want to put that application or the multiplication rate. There, that looks more like what I'm looking for. So we can save and close. There. Wait, which, which one was it? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I can export it as a shape file. I've been putting them all in this folder past here in uh, Google Drive. So I can send them to Steven. And then if I want to print out when I'm all done, I can uh, print out the reports. I'm doing it all together right now. There we go. Let's print out all the reports. Just putting it in the uh, download folder for now. But there we go. These are the ones I made today. That's it.